All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda episode 34. So today we're gonna do some side missions. We're gonna do like, I don't know, um, speak to Avila and Aya, speak with Carrie about the Remnant City, and I don't know what else, okay? And we gotta buy a glass on the Nexus. We gotta meet uh, Rex at the Vortrex, stuff like that. So yeah, um, bye-bye. Alright, ladies and gents, so first of all, we're going back to the Nexus. Um, what are we gonna do on the Nexus? Well, I believe the Wartrex, Wartrex is there? I think the Wartrex is there. Or is it on Kadala? I think I could handle it. I'm not quite sure how it <laughs> Your brain's rattled enough. Come on. I'm just gonna... Accept these missions. Give this to Juliet. Give this to Mike. And then leave these two. Great. This thing doesn't work again. Okay. I'm not disturbing any of them. All right. So. Sophie, did you ever meet Jen Garson? I shook her hand once at a fundraiser and then blurted something about wanting to look under her dress. You didn't. I wanted to see how it worked. Prototypes marked textile, changing colors in response to sound. And there was also a lot of champagne. Nexus, right. Nexus. Well, I gotta say, Meridian was a uh, fun episode, actually. It um, contained a lot of um, bazaars and stuff like that. I love this ship. I really do. Here we go. We are landing. Larian Arc located, yes of later that's one down um we're gonna go and meet tracks at the waters right oh, yeah, right the reporters there too i'm gonna talk to the reporter later on the others aren't here yet but it shouldn't be long the others. Cash and Vorn. If we're gonna teach you Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. 
I thought you didn't like Vorn. What, just because I ride him hard? He's smart, real handy with plants, kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. <laughs> Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. So, fire-breathing thresher maws of doom. Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know thresher maws are damn huge, but fire-breathing thresher maws of doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see, it's great. Right, so, what are the rules? Kids game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map, you win. Wait, burn down, as in actual fire or metaphorical fire? <laughs> what do you think? I'll load up the mini flamethrowers when the others get here. Well, at least the table is fireproof. I think. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. Are you serious? Well, that can be it. That was it. Right, what a stupid mission that was. Alright, additional text. Um, what does that reporter check again? Damn it. back my arrest was a clerical error translation our heroic pathfinder took an interest and now you're bad PR truth hurts a pathfinder can handle the dangers out there for us ordinary people it's too much I want to finish the documentary take a stand for what matters but what is that what's best for the initiative people deserve the truth today and a thousand years from now Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. Thanks, Ryder, for everything. Yay! So that was it as well. Pretty sure I'm gonna have plenty of time still. Um. We can go to A, yeah, still. Pathfinder. Hello. Well, I guess to Ava it is. I'm going to um, skip the what's it called? Thing of Ha! Thing of So funny. All right. So um, I actually don't know. I'm kind of lost, man. I am. Literally kind of lost. Gil's been asking if you can come by. Who's Gil? Oh yeah, the engineer. Okay, let's go speak to them. We're going to him and Lexi. That's for sure. Taxi! Okay. What's the strategy for not missing your progress? There isn't one. If you land on the snake's head, you just go to its tail. No strategy. What? All these snakes? Back again? Yes, is that a problem? See you later, Cor. I'll be here.
Um, yeah, Gil. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. The hard way is how we win. Every time something goes wrong, we learn a little more. More about the cat, more about the remnant. It's never a waste. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth. Yep. <laughs> you see? Everything works out in the end. Okay, so where is Gil? Is the engineering room upstairs by accident? Oh my god, I'm such a buffoon. Lift up. So Gil. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow, that's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. Yeah. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. So am I. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not funny, dude. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Lexi! Hey! One bottle of Acantha. Barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax some grief. What? Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. We are? Locate the movie on Kadara. Why do we gotta go to freaking Kadara again? Here 
Here we go. Now I'm going on the way. Man, this this is taking like forever. Really, I lose like 30 seconds on this. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but no, it's just. Um, Doors should be already open for me. I'm like a legend here. Back again. Excellent. Well, I got the movie. Come on, come on, come on. Did I just... Why? Why do I do this? Why you do this? Oh boy. Pathfinder, got a minute? Wait. Are you serious? Why don't you talk to me again? Sure, right? The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. It's a tremendous find, Ryder. The team asked me to pass on their thanks. Tell them they're welcome. I, as Pathfinder, was happy to serve. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater, greater than us, greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith. Because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. Um, thanks. I mean, no problem, I guess. I actually don't know what to comment on that. It's my endless bullcrap. I got your damn movie. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go.
They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! Boom! Oh, but it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. <laughs> Fry their sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. <laughs> Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rats. Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. What? Don't make me dare you, dearest. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it isn't fair. He was so young and... What? Solarian! He had so much to give! <laughs> oh, Ryder. I can't feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. D do you even have a gallbladder? Oh, no. It's worse than I thought. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> no. Damn you! Damn you all! So, so that's good, eh? Let's stick with the overacting Turian. <laughs> I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Lexi's. Cora's half asleep already. And that's it. Oh well. Well. That's like over it. Do we still have time? Yes, we do. We are going to I. No. Yeah, we're going to I. No orbiting Kadara. So we can end all this crap in the next episode of while we're going for our mission already.
All right, go. What's the damn fast travel secret? Are you kidding me? Hello? What? What are the fast travels? Don't tell me I broke them. Something to celebrate? Nope. Not for now. Pretty view. I like to imagine what my ancestors would say if they could see what, how we flourished in spite of everything. Places like Aya give me hope. We could really make a home in Helios. You can, and you will. I've been studying those artifacts you recovered. What I found was incredible. Our history is much shorter than we previously thought. Less than a millennium. It's as though we suddenly sprang into being a fully formed civilization. Now we know the Jardan created your people. But what if they also engineered our culture? gave us traditions and beliefs we've carried forward. Until we understand our past, we can't decide our future. What you found could affect generations to come. I can't imagine getting here without you, Ryder. Um. The discoveries you make impact all of us now. I'm just here to help. We're lucky you found us, then. What's next for you? Keep looking for answers. Try my best to recover. You'll get there. Of course. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, I believe I will end this episode here. Um, we still got these missions to go, but in the next one, we're going for our main story, main objective. So until then, bye bye, and we'll see you guys on the Tempest. All right, guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all, all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye-bye.